And here we go. These two guys didn't want to wait. Mike Ray Mysterio Jr. and Hoovington. We've had to keep them separated during the commercial timeout. Even almost before the opening bell, you're right, the referee had to get between them. Johnny Boone separate them. Finally, to start the bell, I think just really to satisfy both wrestlers and get this match underway. Here we go. Connor and Elbow tie up. Oh, Hoovington, a little shove, and you can see once again the temper squaring here in the Worldwide Arena. It's been well documented. The times that the Two competitors, Juventud Guerrera and Rey Mysterio Jr., their paths have crossed on so many occasions, both in Mexico and in Japan, as well as in the United States for the past couple of years with World Championship Wrestling. Still some heat between these two arising out of that four corners match from Nitro in Gainesville, Florida, when Rey Mysterio Jr. lost the cruiserweight strap to psychosis, but he lost the fight without ever being pinned. Well, that's part of the deal when you agree to a title match in a four corners or three corners uh, stipulation rules, you always have that possibility going in that you could lose the championship without the champion either being pinned or submitting, and that was the case when Psychosis in what was realistically a marathon, it was a 20 plus minute match, and all four competitors I think really shown in that four corners matchup, and I think the WCW executive committee has to feel like the depth of the cruiserweight talent has never been stronger than it is right now. Psychosis as the reigning champion. When you look at challenges like Rey Mysterio Jr., Juventud Guerrera, a Kidman, and, and even that next level of cruiserweights that's really working their way up to a championship match, and I'm talking about a Blitzkrieg and a Lash LaRue. That level of competitors as well really makes the cruiserweights among the deepest of all the divisions in World Championship Wrestling. Now let's not forget the new kid on the block, Mikey Whipwreck, turning some heads in the cruiserweight division. Ray Jr., oh. high cross body, nailed Juventud Guerrero. Did not hang on for the pin attempt. More damage, no, reversal by Juventud. Flip out by Ray Mysterio Jr., backdrop, Juventud onto the apron. Block the right hand, oh man! Hot shot across that top steel cable. Oh, what a move by Hoovy taking the back of Mysterio's head. And that uh, drive forward with Mysterio's throat going across that top rope. Oh, oh, off the top with the springboard into a guillotine leg drop. And Hoovintude connects it at the same time, landed on his tailbone. And of course, what is Hoovintude doing? This could be the Hoovy elbow. Oh, is that what it is? The Hoovy elbow? Uh huh. Nobody oh, does it better. Both of these men, hell, hang on, back front, push the leg, over to the Two count on Ray Jr. Both of these men know the current cruiserweight champion very, very well. Many years spent south of the border in the Lucha Libre. Moving to Guerrera and Ray Mysterio Jr. want a shot at Psychosis. I think it's no secret that I've been following the careers of Mysterio moving to Guerrera and Psychosis well before they arrived in World Championship Wrestling. And I think that the sentiment was in the locker room that Psychosis, on so many occasions, was on the verge of winning the Cruiserweight title. He just needed that one match, and, and it took place at Nitro recently, the Four Corners battle, and I really think that Psychosis now, with the confidence that he has, has the opportunity to separate himself from the rest of the Cruiserweights, and he has that chance to do it with a long Cruiserweight title reign, which has not been the case in the past. Certainly not. I think Kidman, with a four-month reign recently, the longest reigning cruiserweight champion in WCW, if not one of the longest. And even Cruz Guerrero and Rey Mysterio Jr. both have tasted the cruiserweight goal before. They want it again. Both men down. Referee Johnny Boone puts in the count. And you know that the executive committee is keeping an eye on this matchup to determine future title shots at Psychosis. Here's the cover. Lateral press. Can he hang on? His way out? No. Two count. That was so very close. Rey Mysterio Jr. will put... The tag team straps on the line with his partner Kidman coming up at Slamboree. Three-way dance for the world tag team strap. Ray Jr. and Kidman, Raven and Terry Saturn and the Horsemen, Chris Benoit and Dean Malenko. And once again, Mike, Ray Mysterio Jr., that man right there, could lose his belt without losing the match. You can almost make a case for the question, didn't Ray Jr. learn the first time when he put the cruiserweight title at stake in a four corners bout? and he wasn't involved in the finish of the match yet, lost the title. Well, that same scenario will be upcoming on May the 9th at Slamboree, brought to you by 10-10-220, when he and Kidman put the tag team belts at stake. Hoventude, oh, reversal. Oh, Hoventude, hard into the rail. 
stepped out. Oh, tilt a wall backbreaker from Ray Jr. And you know, there have also been a lot of rumors around the locker room that there may be some friction between the tag team champions, between Kidman and Mysterio, even to the point recently where Ray Jr. confronted Kidman about not getting the proper backup, and Kidman told him, I can't watch your back 24-7. Well, he certainly can't. How could he? Kidman was off a, an on-sale somewhere, was late getting to the building on Nitro when Ray Jr. really landed. Look at that head scissor takeover. Ray Mysterio Jr. back on top. And I gotta wonder if that friction will play into what's gonna happen at Slamboree, brought to you by 10-10-220 on May 9th. Oh, looked like Moonsault. Ray Jr. Lateral press was delayed. No! Proven to somehow out at 2 and 9 10. Frustration evident on the face of Mysterio. He thought that he had Hooventude put away, and realistically, who would know his opponent better than these two men? They've been in so many battles through the years. Vertical moonsault did not go. Hooventude caught him in midair. Oh, look at that. It's a slap in the back. Oh, no, Ray Jr. Sent him harder to the turnbuckle. Flip out, escape out of the suplex. Movie driver attempt did not work. Escape by Ray Jr. Sets him for the pile driver, but I bet we go a different direction with these two. Oh! Attempted face jam by Hoover too. Didn't work. That's the oh. movie driver. How did he come up with that move? Just phenomenal. Hoover too. Guerrera able to hit the Hoover driver after countering. Here's a cover. He's got the leg hook. Can he hang on? No. Hoover too. Oh, no. That is a mistake by Hoover too. Just stood up out of the obvious pinfall attempt. He would have beaten Ray Jr., but Hoovenhood wants to beat him with the Firebird, with the 450. Even the referee, Johnny Boone, questioned why would Hoovenhood Guerrero give an opportunity at a pinfall, and this may come back to haunt him because Mysterio just cut him off at the pass. Ray Jr. playing a little bit of mind games with Hoovenhood. Hoovenhood out atop the turnbuckle. Ray Jr. follows it up top. Watch Ray. Oh. Whoa! -ho. Verona from the top. Hooks the leg. And Hoover Jr. is done. One half of the World Tag Team Champions. Ray Mysterio Jr. wins it. What a contest over Hoover Jr. Guerrero. And isn't it interesting that earlier we talked about how confidence would play into the future aspects of Psychosis' career. Maybe this time it was overconfidence on the part of Hooventude that came back to bite him. It's our 10-10-3-2-1 replay of the week. 10-10-3-2-1. Dial it and save 50% on calls over 10 minutes. Hooventude Guerrera and Ray Mysterio Jr., two of the top cruiserweights in the world today, showing their stuff on Worldwide. Mysterio with a tremendous move, float over, connecting with that ankle type hit scissors before he was able to snap off the Frankensteiner out of the corner and cover Hooventude and score the three count. Ray Jr. gets the win in his cruiserweight contenders matchup. Our 10-10-3-2-1 replay. Mike, thanks for joining us. I will rejoin the living legend in the studio when we come back on Worldwide.